ดีครับ Good day everyone. I'm Pong Sakan, also known as Gun Master Dude. So today we're gonna looking at marketing, but not just this one, but two marketing. Let's get into it.
get into the details of this. Here we have an adjustable stop. This is Macpool CTI, which is adjustable like this. Yeah, you get the idea. We got a swivel link on both sides. Charging handle which locks into place with this latch right here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, this latch right here. So when you charge it, you have to pull it like this and then charge. The spring in this one is very weak but when I remove the magazine it has a magazine catch by the way yeah. so this look at this latch right here when I press the button and remove the magazine just like that and I charge it. Hmm. Yeah. It's better when I remove the magazine. That's it. So here we have trigger safety, fire selector. Here it's safe. Semi and full auto. Oi. Boom, boom, boom. Even on the other hand, like this. Both catch just like the other one that I made before. Just pull this off, charge, charge the bolt back first, then pull this off, and then push the charging handle forward. Now it's locked in place on the back. Just like the other one that I made before, of course. Like this. The site is EOTEC 553, I guess. Yeah, 553. No magnific magnification or anything. Just hollow out a handguard quad label handguard mm. for grip is uh, Meku RVG also removable as usual, flashlight. I guess it was sure fire or something. I don't know. No, any functions or anything. Just dummy. The laser 
model is ATPIAL. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is ANPQ 15A or DBAL2. I don't know which one. So, removable also. Nothing special, just dummy stuff. Yeah. A muscle break. You know, I don't like to modify gun so much, but my customer ordered it, so I have to do it. Also, removable. He said it was. Uh, M82 Barrett Muscle Break I don't know which one but this is what I find on the internet also attach just like that and the USB comes off So, disassembly. Of course, remove the stuff. Then, check the gun if it was clear. Okay, it's clear. Remove the back pin. Lower it down. Also push the buffer to uh, buffer spring inside so it not popped out like this. Then remove the bolt. Just charging, charge the handle back, and then these two parts comes right out. Then release the buffer tube. Uh, buffer spring and buffer out it's just a steel wire roll it into spring form, form just like that then you can remove this front pin right up just like that now let's get into the mechanism so the trigger now is on safe. As you can see, it's on safe. Now semi. Can't see much different because I don't know. Maybe I am doing something wrong with it. Now for other. This is a trigger. As you can see, it has this bar right here that protrudes out from the trigger on the back. And then this pin has this notch right here that blocks a trigger bar like this. When I uh, push down to semi, it can uh, go up a little bit and then full auto. It is completely clear down into this notch like this, and then the trigger bar can go up freely. Uh, the bolt catch also just like the other one that I made before then the magazine catch or release just as usual I use a homemade spring how can I 
show you like like this yeah you can see it inside and then the catch so when I insert this magazine you can see that it has this notch right here so the magazine catch can lock it in so when I insert the mag we pop back out and then I push it down now it's locked in now I can remove the mag out so when I remove it I have to push this button right here Okay. Clear. The adjustable stock works just like the one on HK416 that I made before, just a little bit uh, polish, I guess. It has a spring inside this latch this catch all right i'm gonna try to remove this one out okay now the spring yeah wait so it has this spring inside under this catch right here so when it in the stock, it will go up and lock it in place on this hose right here. So this is just the part that you should adjust it from like this. So when you pull this down, it will push this catch right here down with it and it will clear the way to the other hole back there or in front of it. As simple as that. Now insert it back in. Now the upper receiver. Just a simple tube. Right down into the barrel. As you can see. What else? Oh, a forward assist, also movable. Uh, charging handle. This is, I guess, BCM or anything. I don't know, but it is cool. It is ambidextrous. You can use it on both sides, charging from this side and this side. Work as well. I don't know if I should pull this apart or not, but someone gonna ask me. Oh, how does it work? Oh, tutorial please, I guess. So, yeah, I should pull that off. This, yeah, just pull this one out like that, and then there are three sticks inside that working together just like this. So when I charge this side, the top one on this side will uh, connect with this 
stick on the other side and then it push it down together just like this and when I charge it from this side I stick on uh, the lower side will go down with this side right here as you can see just like that the bolt is just paperweight nothing inside just a hollow tool with this one on the top that's it so oh so this bevel right here also works with a desk cover right here as you can see it got a spring shut it just like this and then when I pull that off it will spring right down now for the bolt when I insert it inside just like so and then I shut this dust cover down when I try to pull the bolt back it will open up to clear the bolt just like that and then I'm gonna let you see this one this is the one that makes this dust cover pops up when the bolt goes back just like this yeah. okay now the assemble just reverse the progress as usual you put this together just like this and then pops it like back again Shut the dust cover, pop this front pin there, then insert a buffer into the buffer tube, then shut this back down and pop this real pin in check now attach this stuff in and now we done also the other one works all the same just a normal one without any fancy thing on top or all around it. Just like that. That's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I guess leave a like if you like this video. So see you guys next time. Goodbye.